In a bold new venture, the Republic of Guinea and Rosatom, Russia's state nuclear energy corporation, have teamed up to bring floating nuclear power plants to West Africa. This ambitious project, formalized through a Memorandum of Understanding at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, held from June 5th to June 8th, 2024, marks a significant step in Russia's expanding nuclear initiatives in Africa. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Floating nuclear power plants are innovative structures designed to provide electricity, heat, and even clean drinking water to remote areas. These plants, featuring one or more nuclear reactors on a sea-based platform, are self-sufficient units capable of operating independently. Rosatom, Russia's state nuclear energy corporation, explained that these plants will harness desalination techniques to convert seawater into drinking water, making them invaluable to dry regions. Presently, although specific details of the project remain scarce, Rosatom's statement highlighted the collaborative effort to explore and implement these floating power units in Guinea. The memorandum signifies a mutual commitment to studying the feasibility, terms, and conditions necessary to bring this groundbreaking project to life. This partnership between Guinea and Rosatom is part of Russia's broader strategy to deepen its ties with African nations through nuclear energy projects. Recently, Burkina Faso and Rosatom were close to finalizing a deal to build a nuclear reactor following similar agreements in Egypt, Mali, Zimbabwe, and Burundi. The Daba nuclear power plant in Egypt, initiated by Russian President Vladimir Putin and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, exemplifies Russia's growing influence in African energy sectors. Nigeria is also making strides in nuclear energy, aiming to join the BRICS group and collaborate with Russia on nuclear projects. The Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission and Rosatom are working diligently to expedite this partnership, focusing on training and infrastructure development to support the country's nuclear energy ambitions. Similarly, neighbors Uganda and Rwanda signed deals with Rosatom to set up nuclear plants in 2016 and 2019 respectively. Tanzania has also expressed interest in acquiring Russian nuclear technology to boost its economy. In summary, the collaboration between Russia and Guinea on floating nuclear power plants underscores the growing importance of nuclear energy in Africa and highlights Russia's expanding influence in the region. This ambitious venture not only promises to bring significant technological advancements to Guinea, providing reliable electricity, heat, and clean drinking water to remote areas, but also marks a pivotal milestone in Russia's strategic engagement with the continent. As more African nations look to nuclear power to address their energy needs and drive economic development, Russia's role as a key partner in these initiatives is set to grow. The successful implementation of this project could pave the way for similar endeavors across Africa, cementing Russia's position as a leader in the global nuclear energy landscape and fostering deeper ties with its African allies. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Guinea and Russia's plans to build floating nuclear power plants? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. For continued updates on global affairs and diplomatic developments, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa channel. Stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.